got some potential money for these celebrities here at the world premiere of Lottery Ticket. Stay tuned, because it's coming up next. Black Tree TV, we are here with the beautiful Sierra Marie. How are you feeling to be on the red carpet? I'm great. I'm feeling good. I mean, it's like a dream come true. Premiere. <laughs> describe that, describe that, because you're a, actually a music artist, but you know, we see you on the big screen here. Describe that feeling to be able to be on the big screen. Um, I mean, it's a surreal feeling, you know. I've always dreamed of being at a movie premiere, like for a movie that I've done, and like I'm finally here, so it's like a dream come true. I, I don't think words could describe it, honestly. Now, in, in the movie, your character plays that girl who everybody wants to get at, but Bow Wow really doesn't have the game to get at you, you know. So can you describe your character a little bit and, and what it was like transforming into that character? Well, it wasn't hard to transform because we're both girly girls. <laughs> but the hard part was like the lines because she's a bit of a sleuth bag. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, for money. <laughs> Gold digger. Well, you know, we are in the premiere of Lottery Ticket, so we have a lottery ticket for you. We want you to scratch it off okay. and we want to try our luck with you, scratching it off. Scratch off all the numbers. Wait, what's, how do you play this? What's the Pretty much, you're gonna scratch off all the numbers and it says. Okay. Uh, I gotta read, honey. <laughs> I didn't win you any money, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, oh, you were going to take it if I would have won? <laughs> we, we were going to take it, but you know, that's just how we do, you know what I'm saying? But you did a great job in Thank the movie, you. so you got a premiere to go to. Go enjoy yourself. You're losing to get back. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Black Tree TV, we're here with none other than Mr. Ice Cube. How you feeling, man, to be at the premiere of your film? I feel real good, you know, it's a, good, it's a great day. Absolutely, man. Today is a good day, man. You know, this film itself kind of hones in on the gap between wealth and the pressures of having wealth. How do you feel yourself kind of overcame those pressures and do you have any advice for up and coming stars? Well, you know, you just got to uh, understand if you give it all away, you won't have it. And the same people that's mad at you going to be real mad at you and they're going to be calling you broke, too. So the thing is, is to remember who was there before you got the money. You can lace them all day, every day. And the people that wasn't, get them a hard time. You know what I mean? Don't be such a pushover. And uh, don't let them fool you with that facade. You know what I mean? Make them come at you real, like they did before. No doubt. You know, uh, you played an old man in this film, so really we see that your acting skills were challenged. Did you have any you know, challenges when you played that role? Yeah, you know, to come off and not look uh, cliche. You know, I don't want to play the cliche old man that everybody's seen before. I wanted to play that that cool old man, the kind I know. The, the, the old dudes who ain't lost their swagger just because they 70 or pushing that age, they still got their same flavor. And uh, you know, Mr. Washington, his flavor was bottled away, but at the end you saw how clean he got, right? I feel good. I feel good, man. I'm just excited, man. I'm excited. Uh, I work very hard on this movie. I put my all into it. And uh, I'm just happy that, you know, we're, we're one week away now. Uh, I, I can't wait. So I got another one coming right after this one too. So I'm, I'm loaded. It's uh, it's overwhelming. I think that's the one word to describe everything that I'm feeling right now. And not a nervous feeling. For some reason, I'm not nervous at all. It's just overwhelming. Man. It's just you know to see me on the cover of a poster and to to be on it with a lot of guys and especially Cube, who's, who did it before me and paved the way for young guys like me to get into the field, to get into acting, especially coming from rapping and all of that. So it, for me, man, it's just. Uh, it's just living out a dream. I never knew that I would end up even coming this way in my career, but I just I just follow wherever the good man takes me. Wherever God takes me, I'll go. Real quick, before you leave, man, we want you to scratch this ticket, man. We want about like a million scratch It's going to be the millionth and one. And if you win, because we'll I, I haven't won one yet. <laughs> we want our cut if you win. Oh, you got it. Don't, don't Lucky run. number 13 is the winning number. And I ain't going to be 113 on this sheet, just like I knew it. Ah. One more, one more. Okay. No, nothing. Right on, man.